Investor Bell Industries Proprietary Limited was a large building company with operations all around Australia. Arthur Green was a senior manager in the insulation division based in Victoria. He knew Bester Bell had tendered successfully for a contract to install metal pan suspended ceilings in the QE2 Medical Centre in Perth. He had access to the tender details. He then learned the ceiling contract for Stage 2 of the construction was about to be opened up for offers. He saw a golden opportunity to make some dodgy money. He formed his own company, Clara Proprietary Limited, resigned from Bestabel, and Clara put in a bid for the Stage 2 ceilings. Clara's bid was the cheapest, Bestabel's was the third cheapest, and Clara was awarded the contract. Bestabel sued on a number of grounds. The case against Green personally seems to have been pretty straightforward. He quite clearly breached his contractual obligation to give his best efforts and fidelity to his employer, and he quite clearly allowed himself to be placed in a position where his fiduciary duty as a senior manager of Bestabel was conflicted. But those were only actions against him individually. What about Clara Proprietary Limited, which had obtained the big contract? Should they be liable? Ordinarily, we'd think likely not. After all, basic principles of corporations law tell us that Clara Proprietary Limited and Arthur Green were separate entities. Clara Proprietary Limited had no relationship with Bestabel, so how could Green's misconduct be attributed to Clara? The court said that this was one case where it was proper to go behind the corporate veil and look realistically at the relationship between Green and Clara. Justice Wickham said... In the present case, Clara at all times knew everything that Green knew, but Clara was not a fiduciary in respect to Bestabel. It is clear in this case that Clara knowingly and for its own benefit participated in Green's breach of duty owed to Bestabel. In other words, even if they allowed for the idea that Clara was a separate entity, Green was its controlling mind. Clara knew everything that Green knew, including things like the way that Bestabell had constructed its previous tender bids. This was information that Green, and therefore Clara, had obtained in breach of Green's fiduciary duty. The court insisted on the significance of fiduciary duties and ordered Clara to give Bestabell an account of its profits. (music) 